In this question, we are given the formula P is equal to A over 1 plus RT, and then we are going to solve for the letter R. Well, in this case, as we can see, we have an equation that has a fraction, and to solve for R, meaning that we want to get the R by itself from this equation. So let me copy down the um, equation right here again. I'll write down P, and I'll leave some space, and I'll put down the equal sign, and then this is A over 1 plus RT. And the strategy is this. Whenever we're trying to solve an equation that has a fraction or more fractions, we're going to multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. Well, in this case, we only have this. That's the only denominator, right? So I'm just going to multiply both sides by 1 plus RT, the only denominator that we have. So I'm going to multiply by the dot stands for multiplication, 1 plus RT, and then I'll also multiply by 1 plus RT on the right-hand side as well. This way, this and that will cancel out. And if you look at the remainder things, we will have no fraction. And this is why I left a space earlier so I can put in the, uh, the lowest common denominator right here with the P. Anyways, we have the P in front of this parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the P into the parentheses. So P times 1 is P and then p times rt. In simple, we'll just write down plus p r t. Okay, this stands for p times r times t. And then this is equal to just a on the right hand side because the denominator canceled out with this already. And our goal is still to get the r by itself. So let's see, I'm going to subtract the p, this p on both sides. So this and that will cancel. And then we will have P times RT is equal to A minus P. All right, we are almost done. Let's look at the left hand side. This is where the R is. Well, we have P times R times T. Therefore, we need to divide right, the opposite operation. We are going to divide the P and also the T on this side. You see that this P and this P will cancel. And this t and this t will cancel. But then whatever we do on the left hand side, we also have to do it on the right hand side. So we divide it by pt. And we did it. We have the r by itself. And this is equal to a minus p all over pt. And this is how we get r by itself. That's it.